Hey guys, Gina here, back with another Pick or Treats video. Well, kind of. I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with the Pick or Treat videos, and I do have a couple boxes of mail that I wanted to open, so if you're interested in that, stick around. As you can tell, the shelves are getting filled with all kinds of Halloween goodies. I had it organized and all ready to be presentable to you, <laughs> and then I loaned a bunch of stuff to Midsummer Scream. So it's disorganized again, but I am working on getting it back to how I had it. And that's okay. If you guys saw that video, there was so much Halloween eye candy in that video. There were old games and model making kits, and there were comics and blow molds and pumpkin pails. And I mean, there was a devil collection and witch stuff and tons of Frankenstein things. It was amazing. I spent quite a good amount of time in that room going, I wish this was mine and this was mine. But it was a very cool experience. I think there were about six collectors total who had all come together and donated their stuff to, I don't know, be seen by thousands and thousands of people because there's a lot of people who attend that convention. But I was so happy to be a part of it. And I will link that video if you haven't seen it. It's nice. It's just to music and you can just browse and look at all of the awesome vintage Halloween goodies that there was. I have a few pick or treat collection videos planned for September and October, so be on the lookout for those. One of them might be a treat bag video. I love those paper treat bags so much and I actually just went to an estate sale last weekend. It was amazing, guys. I was there digging for three hours. I will have a video on what I found there. I always want to film because I have people that I watch on YouTube where they have the camera and they're showing you stuff. I am like, I don't know if it's just because I'm frazzled and I just am like so focused on trying to find stuff or what, but I did take a little bit of footage after I had already picked and uh, yeah, I will get that video out here soon. Another video that I have in store is foam pumpkins. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but they're actually quite collectible in some arenas. And I have a little stash of them, so I thought I would bring that video to you guys as well. But today, I had a couple of boxes sent to me in the mail and I wanted to open them on camera so you guys could kind of see a little bit of what I've been ordering <laughs> on the interwebs and also to give a couple shout outs to people. So the first one we have is this box is from Toxic Slob. I found him on Instagram. He has a lot of vintage 80s, 90s, 70s toys. So he is always having whatnot sales or Instagram sales. He, I think he also does flea markets and that kind of thing. So thank you, Mickey, for this. I have no idea actually how big this is or what, I just saw the picture of it and I said, oh my gosh, I have to add that to my collection. Oh my gosh, it's actually a little bit bigger than I was thinking. I was thinking it was gonna be more about the size of my palm, but I'm so excited for you guys to see this. Any guesses to what it might be? This is one of those things where I saw it and I just had to have it because I have never seen this before and I just think it's one of those unique pieces for a collection that you, it's a statement piece, you know, you can talk about it and this and that, but oh my gosh, <gasps> this is so cool, you guys. It's a spider game and it says the spider and the fly. Guys, this is from October 22nd, 1889. This is crazy. So it just has these little felt pieces inside and I imagine you try to line it up inside. But this is so cool. I've never seen it. And the fact that it's that old, oh my gosh, this is so, so very cool. This was just amazing and I had to get it. There is a little piece of broken glass right there, but man, this is 140 years old, almost 130 years old. It's crazy. I can't tell if that says 89 or 69. Yeah, it might even be 69. Will you walk into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlor that you ever did spy. Well, thank you so much, Mickey, for that. If you find anything else like that, let me know. Next, we have a box from a subscriber named Robert. 
he saw my video of the Midsummer Scream collection and he said, I have something that you may want. It's just sitting on one of my shelves collecting dust and I think it would have a better home at your place. So would you like this? And I do know what's in here, but I've never seen it. I didn't look up pictures or anything and I'm super excited to open it. So Robert, thank you so much for sending this our way. And you're right, the box was a fortress to get into. This would survive a nuclear blast for sure. <laughs> I gotta do more tape. Ah! <laughs> Robert also sent a letter with his package. Hey, Hollywood Haunters, hope this has arrived in good shape. So far, so good. I didn't really have a box that fit, so I did the best I could with what I had. You did an awesome job. Couldn't resist sending a few photos of some of my Halloween parties. Oh my gosh, yes. It looks like a fun, fun time. I love all the decorations. When I was nine and 10, my mother was a live-in attendant for a 94 year old woman who lived in a 21 room mansion on top of a rocky hill. Oh my gosh, that sounds incredible. She had insomnia and used to, used to wander the halls tapping with her walker at night wheezing. Scared the living daylight, daylights out of my sister and I. That would scare me too. Anyways, I remember to this day, one Halloween, my mother pulled a cardboard box out of the attic filled with Halloween decorations. <gasps> it sounds so magical. Now, this was 1963, and even as a kid, I knew those decorations were old. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I still on occasion think of that box of decorations and how much I would love to have had them for all these years. No kidding. Ah, sigh. <laughs> well, best of luck with all your endeavors and happy Halloween. Is it ever too early? No, it is never too early. It's Halloween 365 over here for sure. And P.S. Toner cartridge on the way out. Yeah, our printer, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm sure ours doesn't even work right now, but thank you, Robert, so much. I do appreciate that, and your party looks amazing. So now let's see. Packed it really good. Oh my gosh, ah, 59 cents, guys. It's the Monsters Jigsaw Puzzle. <gasps> this is amazing. Oh my gosh. It's got everyone on there. Oh my gosh, that artwork. That is incredible. 59 cents, 100 pieces, 1965. Oh my gosh. Ah, and here they are. This is so much fun. I'm gonna have to have Harrison put this together with me. Oh my gosh, thank you, Rob, so much. I do appreciate you sharing part of your collection with us. I will find a place up here to put it. Christopher is gonna be so, so excited. And yes, thank you again from the bottom of my heart. Much, much appreciated. The next packages are from another YouTube channel called Shiny Bright Doggo. If you guys love people going to thrift stores and estate sales and vlogging while they're there and finding their treasures. You guys will definitely love their channel. They love Christmas. They love Halloween. They love all kinds of things from mid century and you know, eighties toys, all of that kind of stuff. You guys definitely need to check them out. I really have a lot of fun watching their videos every week, but they have something called the pumpkin control. Now this is no pumpkin left behind. It just means that when you go out into the wild, whether you're thrifting at estate sales or thrift stores or whatever, you find those old pumpkin pails and you don't leave them behind because they're so special. They're so nostalgic and it's just a fun thing that they've created and I do enjoy it. I do have their shirt that they did last year. So they came out with some new merch this year. And of course I had to be, I probably was the first one who clicked on it when, <laughs> when they launched it. So that is me in a nutshell. Halloween, here I am. But I'm super excited because they had a few things. They had a magnetized bumper sticker and they also had a pin. So let's check this out. So first things first, it has I break for pumpkin pails. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Um, I probably won't put this on my car. Not that I don't want to show everyone that <laughs> I break for pumpkin pails, but I'll probably keep it nice inside the house somewhere on something metal 
that I can, you know, look at it every day. And yes, I would. If I was driving down the street and I saw a pile and there was a pumpkin pail in there, I would pick it up for sure. Then they had an exclusive enamel pin. And of course I have to buy one and then put it on my backpack or my jean jacket when I wear it. This fall, it's been so hot here in California, so hot and dry, ugh, it's been awful. I don't ever remember California being this crispy before. It's, it's really bad, but oh my gosh, I got number two of a hundred. That's, that's pretty good, two of a hundred. So thank you guys so much, I love it. It is so cute, it is made really well. Now for the shirt. So here we go. Oh my no pumpkin left behind pumpkin patrol what does this one say search and rescue team that for sure is me <laughs> it is so soft i can't wait to wash it and wear it and uh yeah this will probably be my new go-to shirt for you know going around town and looking for thrifting stuff and everyone will be jealous where did you get your shirt and i'll just have to tell them i'm in the pumpkin patrol <laughs> And you can be too. So in addition to their fun pumpkin patrol and their YouTube videos, they also sell stuff. So they have an Instagram account, they have eBay accounts, and they do whatnot sales as well. So Janine, part of Shiny Bright, she had a vintage VHS thing and we just got a VHS player and I actually went to a yard sale a couple weeks ago and they had a hundred thousand different VHS tapes and I took my time I think my neck got sunburned that day because I was just going through boxes and boxes and boxes of them but yeah they had some and so I wanted to support them with that and so that is what is in this box so I wanted to show you guys which ones I picked out Oh my gosh, they threw some extra goodies in here. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh, you guys, I'm such a sucker for these little plastic 80s and 90s Halloween treat goodie bag toys. Look at this little pumpkin man. He looks like he's ready to give you a hug. Oh, I love him. He's going to go on my shelf. I have all my 80s and 90s stuff. I boxed it up and it took me forever to set up. So thankfully I took a picture of it and I have to put everything back up there. But what is this? <gasps> a little witchy poo? Oh my gosh, I think she hangs on a door. I love that. Oh my gosh, look at her little bat collar right there. That is very cool. Thank you so much. And little finger puppets. You kidding me? <laughs> now Harrison and I can role play. <laughs> Those are great. I do not have these. I got close encounters of the third kind. We are not alone. And I think this one is still sealed in its original package. So I'm sure it works and I'm sure it's good. They packed it up really nice, but look at this. Does anybody like this movie? I bought this really for Chris because he enjoys this movie a lot. And uh, I think about the mashed potatoes <laughs> and the mountain and then uh, that sound that it would play. What it, what does it go again? Womp womp. No, <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it was. Now all of you out there are probably screaming it in your head. I'm going to have to look that up. We'll, we'll figure it out by the time we're done. Done. I'll figure it out. Then I'm a huge Stephen King fan, so I had to get Christine such a classic. And uh, this might be one Harrison can watch in the next couple of years. We'll probably wait a while for The Shining. <laughs> but this one, for sure. This is so good. If you haven't seen Christine, this is a classic. And it's not super duper scary, so that's always nice too. It's more of a thriller, I would say. But there's Christine. We'll have to, you know, make it a blockbuster night. Put the old VHS tape in there. Oh my gosh, look it! They even put some Halloween pencils in there. I would love to use these. I'm sure Harrison will like to use them too. Or, you know, stick them somewhere in the hoard back there. And then Laura, she's the other part of Shiny Bright. She put a random like, hey, you might as well throw this in there too. And so I got this children's playmate magazine. I have a couple 
Jack and Jill's, I think, but I always look for these and they're kind of hard to come across, at least in my area, but October 1966. I will open this up so we can look at a couple of the pages. Check that out. So much fun. 40 cents. Oh my gosh, look at that witch. Is she riding a vacuum? She's got like a motor powered broom. And it's just got all kinds of jokes and activities. And ooh, there's even some colored comics in there. Let's do one of these jokes. All right, here we go. There was an old barber named Ware. He was sadly allergic to hair. When customers called, unless they were bald, he sneezed them right out of their chair. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. But let's see, any good illustrations? Look at that. Oh man, you could even have a paper doll. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for throwing that in the sale. I will display that proudly somewhere around here too. I have to pull out my magazines and comic books and find a good place for them. Cause they deserve a spot somewhere up here somewhere. I know my records are over there and I need to display them better too. Again, that's Shiny Bright Doggo. You can check them out if you have an Instagram or YouTube account, or if you participate on whatnot, definitely go check them out cause they have some fun sales, good sales. And last but not least, I saved a Christmas item. So for those of you who do enjoy Christmas, I finally found something that I've been after for a long time. Now it's not exactly the one I wanted, but this was a really good price and it was a buy it now on eBay. So I clicked buy it now <laughs> and here it is. But if any of you know me, when I was a child, I loved hippos so, so much. And every time Christmas rolls around, I can't tell you, I probably have about 20 people go, I heard I want a hippopotamus for Christmas and I thought of you. So I had to buy the record. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. This is not the Gala Peavy version, although I wish it was, but hey, this is second best and I will take it in the meantime, every time I go, out and I find a stack of records. I'm always hoping that this one will be in there, but check it out. So cute. So this will be a lot of fun to display this year. Um, I have my Punky Pumpkin and my Wobbling Goblin record. That was a holy grail of mine for a really long time. And I finally found it at an affordable price and I snagged it right away. Thank you to those people who do buy it now sometimes because us, when we watch the bidding just go up and up and up, it's just like, I'll never, I'll never. So occasionally a buy it now does happen where it's a good price and we are able to finally snag something that we've enjoyed. And this one is from 1953. Yeah, 1953. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching. I do appreciate all of the comments and love and the support that you guys give us on our channel. Things heat up this time of year. It gets crazy around the Hollywood Haunter Halloween season over here. And we do appreciate every comment, all the support that you guys have given us. And yeah, look forward to those videos coming out soon. I have an estate sale video, should be coming out next, and then a couple of Pick or Treat collection videos coming soon after. And anytime I can film something out in the wild, I will. I just gotta get better about doing it. But I do appreciate it, you guys. I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time.